hi this is benny d and i welcome you to another iclone 8 tutorial and this time around we are going to talk about um lens flare we are going to see how we are going to use lens flare to um, enhance our visual um our visual presentation of our animation to make our visual more appealing more realistic and more um, cinematic so we are going to work with lens flare here so as we s as you can see here we have um, a truck a security truck uh, in a parking lot I've already set up the the scene so what is left for this scene is to add the um, the lens flare to these lights on the truck to enhance the visual representation or to enhance the visual uh, look for the overall scene so um, once we go to our uh, template pack on that stage we we'll go uh, under this called lens flare you can get this lens flare pack in the real illusion um, content store um, you can purchase it there. There are like over 200 lens flare um, presets that you can use to apply on your scene real quick and fast. So we are going to use a couple of these um, these flare packs to enhance our scene. So let's start from here. That is the headlamp. Or the headlights so this headlights are going to attach um, a lens flare a particular lens flare for it so let's we're going to work with this uh, LED flashlight flare so you just easy you just drag and drop to the scene and you can see the flare is already there it's already showing after I just drag and drop it, you can see the flare is already um, in the scene. You can see from here we already have how it looks. You can now see the effect is now showing. Because there are a variety of lens flare here, you can choose from different types. Just depending on what um, you want. For example, you can decide to say no, you want to use maybe a stronger lens flare as the headlight LED head. You can decide to use this too, just depending on what you want. But as it is, we are just going to use the first one that we brought to the scene. <laughs> So there are varieties, sorry, there are variety of these lens flares that you can choose you can choose from. So I think I like this one. This headlight soft. Let's use this headlight soft. You can just add it here. Mm, sorry, you can just align it to any part of the scene you want or any part of the object you want so we'll carefully place this here and it just depending on the angle of your camera you can place it how you wherever you want as far as it looks properly placed depending on the angle of your um, sorry camera so I think that is okay let's delete this can delete this and just duplicate this particular um, lens flare so I duplicate it you attach it to this other 
headlight of the car just align it properly to how you want it to look see it's not working you can now attach it to the vehicle itself or to the lamp or the headlight so that once the car moves it moves with the lens flare that is for that you can duplicate and add this part but for tutorial sake let's go to other parts of the car like this colored lights so let's start from the back we want to pull for this red light uh, this red uh, brake lights behind so we'll go back to our lens flare pack and we'll look for let's say a lens that um, fits into that particular uh, lamp so we we'll drag and drop this warning um, light flare drag it and make sure we align it to the object or to the lights we are trying to enhance so you don't have to worry about this uh, particular sphere it's just like a way to guide you on where to place the object so you can hide the sphere in the lens flare by coming to this place and you see it's hidden once it's hidden you, it's not showing again so you attach the lens flare to the um to the vehicle since the vehicle is already animated and you can duplicate this one also Once you duplicate it, you attach it. It's already attached to the car, so you don't really need to reattach it again. I can just decide to reattach it to the vehicle. And these are just like a uh, default template, to, so which means you can come to you can come to the modify, and you can also modify the lens flare to it for. To have a fully customized lens flare, you can increase the scale. You can see the scale can be in increased. You can increase the scale just to make it more. You can see this lens flare is more obvious. You can increase it to that. Make sure you check all the angle, and you can see that it's nice. So for this red one above. All you do is just um, duplicate it since it's red light to this other red lamp above. So you just attach, it's already attached to the car, you just align it. Once you align it, you make sure every the lens flare is carefully placed. Yep, you can now see. You can always have time to tweak it, to arrange it, you can reduce the scale of this particular one. Right. You can see. You can rotate it, you can do whatever you want to do. So we just work with what we have for now. So for for all the red spots in the car, let's just duplicate that uh, particular lens flare real quick, so that we can attach it to the appropriate lights. And see just carefully place it okay 
let's duplicate it to this red light also in front So, those are lens flare. So, we'll just do the same thing for where the blue lights, these other blue lights are on the truck. We'll just get a blue lens flare. Oh, we forgot to put here, but we can duplicate and um, fix um, the lens flare on this other side. But let's fix the blue one first. So, we'll go back to our scene sorry we'll go back to the content and look for let's look for a light that is just similar let's say bluish that has that blue um ray let's see it okay let's just add this one as I said, it might be too harsh. You can reduce the scale. You can just put whatever, what, any type of this thing you want, any type of light or color that will just correspond. Okay. See this one is kind of too harsh. Now reduce the brightness. Just the brightness can be reduced and the scale just okay. so don't forget to attach it. Always attach it to the vehicle, especially when it's animated, so that you know that um it's going to follow the car when it's moving so let's just uh, duplicate this light uh, flare and put them on the blue blue spots
so you just place them on the appropriate light Just remember, you have a variety of lens to choose from. Oh, sorry, lens flare to choose from. You mustn't use the exact one I'm using for this tutorial. These are just for demonstration purpose. You can see how the lens flares are just popping out and looking very, giving the scene more life. You can see. You can see how sharp, clean, and detailed these lens flares are. So let's just duplicate this one for this light. Now you can see everything is coming out. Everything is coming out together like it's coming out well let's see in different camera angle you can now see now see how the lens flares are just popping out you can check different camera angles to confirm it wow very beautiful can see how these lens flares are just shining. I didn't apply it everywhere. I just put in the most obvious key parts of the vehicle. So can now see how these lens flares are just popping and giving the scene more life making it very cinematic so uh, this is how you apply lens flare to your scene to to lights to car headlights could be a moving car stationary car and uh, could be lamp of um, buildings houses rooms interior and exterior and this is how this is the result you get and this is uh, this is one of the one of many features that is in iClone uh, that has to do with visuals that improves the visuals of um, your iClone scene i hope you enjoyed the tutorial you learned something and i can't wait for um, every one of you to um, use this lens flare to make your scene more cinematic more appealing more professional and uh, um, give it more life so thank you for watching this tutorial till next time